The best way to analyze a company is to compare its business against its main competitor and the market, specifically the S&P 500. First, we look at growth. Which stock has the highest projected earnings growth for the next five years? We prefer a higher growth rate. The most points are awarded to the highest rate. Let's look at P-E ratio. Which stock has the least amount of speculation with a lower P-E ratio? More points are awarded to the lower P-E ratio stock. Third, we look at the 200-day simple moving average. Which stock is trading lower than its SMA 200 the most? We prefer a negative percentage. The most points are given to the worst SMA 200. Let's look at returns, specifically ROA, ROE, and ROI. Which stock is using its assets, cash, and investments most efficiently? We combine all three returns so we can easily determine the most efficient stock. Let's then look at dividends. Which stock pays you the most to hold their shares? More points are given to the higher yielding stock. Next, let's look at short float. Which stock are investors and traders most bearish in? More points are awarded to the less shorted stock. Let's look at profit margins. Which stock generates the most profit from its business? This metric tells us the company has a business that can generate a lot of cash, which can be reinvested or paid out to shareholders. Eighth, we look at analyst recommendations. Which stock do Wall Street analysts favor the most? We prefer a stock that has a strong buy consensus. The most points are given to the stock closest to a one rating. Now that we've got all the business metrics analyzed, we put their point totals on this grid and add them all up. The stock with the highest point total is considered the stock with the best business. As a comparison, I put the most importance on our company versus the S&P 500. If we have a higher score than the market, it has a better business than its 500 combined companies. Before we get to that price, join my Patreon. You'll get access to every company I've analyzed so you can compare between each. It's updated all the time. Go to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. Comparing the company's current price and its fair price, we can see here how undervalued or overvalued the stock is. The higher the percentage, the more undervalued the stock. The lower the percentage, the more overvalued the stock. Lastly, I wanted to include our company's stock performance over its 1, 3, 5, and 10 years compared with its industry and the S&P 500. This isn't included as part of my analysis, but sometimes investors look at the business and the price, while others just want to know if they're getting a return that's good enough. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.